I'm super excited to talk about one of the new Blender 2.9 features that puts it on par with SketchUp in terms of ease of modeling. And it's a new command called Extrude Manifold. So this model was done in about 30 seconds with Extrude Manifold. So let's take a look at how we can create something like that. So I'm gonna hide this model. Let's add a new plane. Go into edit mode and extrude manifold is in the extrude sets of tools. So you need to hold down extrude region until you get this pop-up and it's the second one. I missed it the first time. I needed to read where it is and what that tool actually means. So don't worry if you missed it as well. So once we get that enabled, we have this kind of arrowhead with a plus sign. So if we click and hold, we move this up and as you see at the moment, because it's a simple plane, it doesn't do much except move those faces. Now though, let's add some loop cuts. I'm gonna press Control R to add a few loop cuts. Okay, and need to go back into face selection mode. And now let's try selecting one of these faces. And voila, so we can move this pretty easily now. Much easier than we could have before. And it kind of automatically adjusts, merges, or disconnects or creates new faces depending on what's what's being done here. So this doesn't preserve good topology, but it is something that's very quick to kind of understand and work with the massing. And we can continue to add loop cuts, but you would notice that we do start to lose places where we can create loop cuts because a lot of this geometry isn't quads anymore. So we have different elements. So uh, there are ways around it. So let's modify this geometry just a little bit more. Let's see if I can add a loop cut here. So we bring this out. You see it's we have a nice face that's being set up here. It's literally like the way you would use SketchUp, of course, but with all the other benefits of being in Blender, having the massively improved tool set. Okay, so now if you want to continue modeling this, we're almost out of places where we can include edge loops. Luckily, we can use edge. Uh, no, that's not it. Luckily, we can use. Where's my tool? Knife. So knife works pretty well. Uh, there are a couple of ways to use it though, which took me a while to understand. So if we click here and I'm dragging now, but you see it's not really straight. So I'm going to undo that. If you click and hold and now if you press C, it locks to an axis. So now we should get a pretty straight axis. And when you're done, you can press enter and we can start drawing again. So you have to play with it, but on the bottom, it tells us different things that it can do. So if I'm clicking and holding and you scroll all the way on the bottom, it tells you basically all the commands that we have. So C is for angle constraint and then control is for midpoint snap. So those are the two more, most important one. And E allows us to start a new cut without exiting the current sort of iteration. So E and I'm still within kind of the same set of commands. And sometimes it, it does tend to be, need to be cleaned up every once in a while, but it's still much better than what we had before. Now to make sure that some of these vertices are aligned, if we go into vertex selection mode, and let's go to move. So I click one of these, enable our snaps. In this case, we'll use vertex snap and move one of these over. And let's combine these. So M by distance, sorry, M at center. And again, let's drag this in one direction and drag this in one direction. Maybe we want to drag all of these down to be aligned. And you can see even here, we do have topology that's not very clean, but it could easily be made quite clean quite fairly quickly by editing by deleting some faces and adding some edges and the vertices, we can still have this work as quads in case we want to, in case we want to do subdiv or something else that requires quad subdivision. 
But this tool is super powerful. There's another new tool that has to do with the UV setup and it's much easier now to drag and drop while preserving the UV seams and they stretch and expand automatically. But we'll do that in another video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this, especially for the algorithm. Thumbs down if you don't. Happy to hear your comments and see you next time.